So you might have seen these types of technical patterns in the market, whether it's a flag, a pennant, a wedge, or different types of triangles, but what exactly do they represent? Well, if we were to break down one of these textbook patterns, for example, a flag, then it's simply a strong impulsive move, followed by a period of correction where price is accumulating before a breakout and a continuation of the larger trend. And if we look at the other patterns, it's essentially the same concept, except that the corrections will look slightly different, which is why memorizing dozens of these patterns is not enough, and what matters more is understanding the bigger picture of where these setups are occurring. So imagine what looks like a promising bullish flag pattern, except it's inside of a much larger bearish trend. Well, based on probability, there's a greater likelihood that this setup would fail because it's a counter trend movement. That's why understanding the overall market structure is more important.